Hi, I'm Joe Lample, and if you're like me, you're spending more time than ever before out in your backyard and around your landscapes, entertaining family and friends, growing your own food and getting back to nature, plus watching your pets and your children play. And that's a lot of the reason why we're all becoming more environmentally friendly these days, from the cars that we drive to the food that we eat, and even the mulch we put down in our gardens. That's right, I said mulch. You might be surprised to know that some of the mulch might have arsenic from CCA treated wood and other not so eco-friendly material. And if it were here, how would you even know it? Well, I learned an interesting story about that that I'll share with you as we head to the store for some more mulch. Come on, let's go for a ride. Let's go for a ride. Good girl, all right, good girl. Hang on, Lily, here we go. Whoa, good girl. Sometimes I could use four legs. My story about mulch happened a few years ago. I was in need of a large amount at one time, so I went to the mulch yard, and there it was, that big pile of mulch, and I was really excited about it, and I had the proprietor take me down so I could inspect it, since I'm a pretty picky mulch buyer. And it looked good, and I said, wow, this is a lot of mulch. Where'd you get it all? So he said, well, you know, we get it from landscapers and weekend warriors, and..." Then he said something that was disturbing to me. He said, we also get it from construction sites and demolition projects and deck teardowns and things like that. Suddenly this mulch was not acceptable to me because I'm thinking CCA contaminants, pressure treated wood and all the things I don't want in my eco-friendly garden. So this raised an interesting question. If all of this mulch potentially had those contaminants in it, how could I be sure that the other mulches that I was buying didn't have the same contaminants? So I did some research and I found the Mulch and Soil Council. Now this is an industry trade organization made up of companies, many of whom sell their bagged and soil mulch products to nurseries and garden centers where you and I would buy them and bring them home and put them in our gardens. I found that this council adopted industry standards and some of those standards included the fact that they will not include CCA contaminated wood or other unacceptable materials in any of their consumer mulch and soil products. In addition to that, they do random certifications and inspections. They test their soils to make sure that they comply with packaging. They make sure that the packages are properly weighed and measured and labeled. So all of the kind of things that as a consumer, an eco-friendly consumer and conscious consumer, I'm concerned about this. Well, I'm back from the garden center with my certified mulches and soils. The way I know that is that my packages have the certification label right on them, but there are currently over 250 certified products on the Mulch and Soil Council's website. So check it out to see if your product is listed. I guess the only thing left to do now, spread the mulch. Having programs like the MSC certification can help people like me know that our gardens and landscapes are not only safe for our families, but eco-friendly too. 